Hey, what's going on, everybody? <clears throat> Excuse me. It's your man, Chris Thorns, coming to you with uh, another update on a story that I did uh, yesterday. And if you can still hear the damn sinus, it's uh, still kicking my ass right now. So, uh, anyway, let's get right into it. All right, guys. Remember, I did a story about three children was found dead in West Hills, in West Hills. Uh, at first, they didn't have no picture you know, of anybody, the woman who did it or the juvenile, anybody. Of course, they're not gonna put a juvenile out because it's a juvenile. However, they finally put out a picture of the mother who did this. You are looking at a 30 year old, 38 year old Angela Flores. All right. But actually, they her name is Angela Don Flores. All right, this is the corporate who did the dirty deed, and I want to play you a little update where they go into a little more detail of how this woman was acting prior to all this happening. All right, and again, sad situation. This happened on Mother's Day, and. Wow, y'all just gotta listen. You just gotta listen. An unthinkable crime that happened on Mother's Day. That's right, Pat. Three children found dead in their West Hills home, and tonight their mother and her teenage son are accused. KKL 9's Joy Benedict is live in West Hills, where neighbors are still trying to process what happened. Joy? Yeah, guys, I mean, this really is a tough one for everyone here in this community, whether they knew this family or they didn't know this family. But all night long, I have been speaking with actual family in other states in Missouri, where this woman is from. She has older children still out there, and they are just simply devastated. But take a look at the scene here behind us as this small memorial does continue to here to grow on Victory Boulevard as everyone is just in disbelief. There was a somber feel in this West Hills community as a once lively home was dark and the fence outside lined with love for three young lives lost. Sorry for the kids and that'll be it. Veronica Avina has a son at the same school as two of the children. She says he had a lot of questions after the school sent out an email this afternoon. He just asked me what had happened. I just told him that that the mom, you know, that she had done something to them and they were no longer here. The two boys attended Ivy Charter. Family members tell us they are a second grader named Nathan and a fourth grade student named Kevin. Both boys were found dead inside their home Sunday morning. Their 12 year old sister, Natalie, also died. Police say it was at the hands of their mother, Angela Flores. And investigators say her 16 year old son also helped in the death of at least one of the children. Mom, we love the kids. We protect the kids. We are the like super women. And this is very hard. Blanca Hernandez lives next door. She was home Saturday night when Flores began acting erratically in her front lawn. She says she called 911 and Flores was taken to the hospital for mental health reasons, but she didn't realize she was her neighbor. I never saw her then if she lived here. Erratic behavior. She had to call 911 and uh, Flores had to go to the hospital. Okay. So now, which that's the question now, you know, uh, if this woman had all this stuff going on, dealing with whatever illness that she got, I guess one has to ask the question uh, if it's safe to ask, you know, why she's at home with these children, knowing she having episodes like that. No, just curious. Maybe somebody can answer that for me. There, I never saw it. Seven hours later, <coughs> her 16 year old son went to another neighbor's home to say his brothers and sister were unresponsive. And that's when police found them dead inside. I feel, I feel terrible and devastated and a bit of an anger in me right now. And although neighbors say the children hadn't been here long, those who knew them are making it clear they will be missed. We talked a lot and actually had a lot of fun with them. And that's when we became friends. 
and people who did know these three children say they laughed all the time and had a good time and they could be seen out here in the yard just having fun and doing what kids do. Now, as for Flores, right now she is being held on $6 million bond. She's been arrested on three counts of murder. Her 16-year-old son arrested on one count of murder. No bond held at Juvenile Hall. Guys. What a tragedy. Joy, thanks. Ooh, that's that's crazy. Here's a song that, about it. That is crazy. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry, guys. Sorry. <coughs> oh, damn. Excuse me. Sorry about that. That is sad and cold. And to get your one of your sons to help you do this and run to somebody's house and claiming uh, they was unresponsive. Makes me wonder what the hell be going on at the house all the time. You know. Uh, again, guys, I'm not going to play down mental illness because it is serious. It, it really is serious. And, uh, Makes me wonder about the man that got her pregnant, you know, uh, if she had it that bad or why would I try to put it out there, you know, uh, how was she when she was dealing with them, you know, and do a lot of this got to do with because she's upset with them, you know, or was it just a straight up real bad trigger moment? Who knows? All right. Her son is being held with no bail. As Silmer, S Y L M A R Juvenile Hall, with no bail. She has a six million dollar bail. Twelve year old Natalie, eight year old Nathan, and Kevin, who is believed to be about ten years old. The cause of the death was not released. The two young boys attend the Ivy Charter. They appear to be dead for several hours and suspected that they had died at some point on Sunday. Neighbors said that the mother of the children had been acting erratically on Saturday night. The mother was heard screaming, yelling, praying, and lighting candles at other homes on the street. Oh, Jesus. She said, I heard someone scream, my family's abusing me and all kinds of nonsense. I couldn't make out what it was, the neighbor said. I guess at the time, she was in our neighbor's yard burning a candle and she had the Bible out. Ooh-wee. Wow. Blanca. Lived next door and was home certain night when Flores began acting radically on the front lawn. So she called 911. Flores was taken to the hospital for mental health reasons, but Hernandez didn't realize she was a neighbor. I never saw her if she lived here or she lived there. I never saw her. It was seven hours later that the 60 year old son went to another neighbor's house, home, and said his brothers and sisters were unresponsive. That's when police found them dead. According to LAPD, Flores admitted to killing her children with the assistance of a 60-year-old. Wow. Canales lived just two houses down from the scene of the tragedy. She detailed the moments that the mother was taken away from the scene on a stretcher. She said she kept popping up and jumping up saying, where's my Bible, where's my Bible? She said the investigation to the murders is continuing. Anyone with information about the investigation can call LAPD. Again, guys, this is why I say, you know, I don't, I don't downplay mental illness. I would never say that it don't exist. It does exist. But my problem is with people always try to use it to get away from their problems. Now, I don't know what's really going on with this woman, but apparently this particular day, she was crying for help and didn't get it. So, or maybe people have been trying to help her. You know, with a lot of people in these cases, a lot of people probably have tried to help her. 
And maybe she turned down the help. Like we hear a lot of time with these stories. I just don't know. I just don't know. But this is update. They finally released a picture of the mom. This is the mom. And, uh, wow. As always, uh, leave your thoughts and comments about everything you just heard. I will post an article in the uh, comment section. And uh, rest in heaven to them young babies. And your man, Chris Thorns, please stay tuned for updates and more stories like these. Peace out.